All right, let's talk about curves in Blender. Whether you're making smooth paths, stylish text, or organic shapes, curves can save you tons of time. Let's start fresh. I'll delete the default cube, sorry buddy, and press Shift plus A arrow curve arrow Bezier curve. Boom, a curve appears. But wait, just two points? Yep, that's because curves work differently from meshes. Now let's edit this. Press tab to go into edit mode. See those little handles? They control the shape of the curve. Try moving, G, rotating, R, and scaling, S them. Want a smoother curve? Select a handle, press V, and switch to automatic. Look at that, perfectly smooth. Need a longer curve? Just select a point and press E to extrude. Move it around and it naturally extends. Easy, right? Now here's where it gets exciting. What if we want actual thickness? Go to the Properties panel, Geometry tab, and increase the bevel depth. Boom! Your curve is now a solid shape. But wait, let's make it even cooler. Instead of beveling, let's use a Bezier circle as a profile. In the Bevel Object field, select the circle and watch your curve transform into a perfect tube. But let's take it one step further. What if you want to draw curves directly onto a surface? Here's how. Add a plane to the scene. Add a Bezier curve and delete its points. Select the Draw tool, Surface Mode, and simply sketch your curve onto the plane. No need for manual adjustments, it just works. And finally, if you ever need to convert a curve into a mesh, just go to Object, Convert, Mesh. Now you can edit it like any other object. So that's the magic of curves in Blender. They're flexible, powerful, and save you tons of time. Play around with them, and you'll be creating awesome designs in no time. See you in the next tutorial.